Hey peeps, what's up, what's good? It's your girl Claudia Rose here, back at it again with a, another one. Um, I need to do my nails, so I figured why not do a, like, how to put on acrylics on people who bite nails, because I used to bite my nails. I have stopped recently, and I do them at home. Granted, now I have these that fell off because the length wasn't there. So when the length is there, it'll last longer. It's just now in the meantime, I have to deal with reapplying the nails, reapplying the acrylic until I get to that stage. But, um, and I will show you how I do them. And if you like to see that, please stay tuned. <laughs> okay guys, so what you're gonna need, I have some paper towel here. A Dappen dish, which I got actually on Amazon. It was two for like four dollars, I think. That's not bad. I got most of the stuff on Amazon. You're gonna need a nail file. Now I have, this is a very high grit nail file. It's 100 over 180. It's very rough, so I suggest you be careful with it when going in and trying to buff out your nails. I have an acrylic brush here. Again, I got this on Amazon. I got everything today on Amazon. Besides maybe when I first dabbled into like doing my own nails at home, I did try the Kiss at Home Nail Salon. So you can get that and use their um, acrylic brush as well. Got some nail polish remover here. And of course you can't do acrylic nails without acrylic itself. Here I have the Mia Secret, again on Amazon, multi-balance natural pink acrylic powder. I love this stuff and it's affordable. I have me a, um, like an like a acrylic nail cutter by Kiss. I got this at Walmart actually. Um, and it was fairly affordable. I think it was only like five bucks. You don't need this guys, okay? This is not a necessity. Before I got this, I just used plain old nail clippers to cut down the acrylic nail. Of course, you can do acrylic nails without liquid monomer. I have the same system here. I suggest if you are going to do your nails at home just to get the same system both back to back just because it formulates. It's, it has the same formula, you know. You can't expect like performance to be high if you're using two different kind of products in my opinion. So I went ahead and I just got the same thing. So I have their acrylic and I have her um, liquid monomer. You're also going to need nail glue. Um, again, <laughs> I just got me a secret nail glue. She had three, a three pack. So I got their nail glue to, and you use this obviously to apply the fake nail to your actual nail. So there's that. And obviously, lastly, you're gonna need your nails. Now these are awesome. I got these on Amazon. A natural nail. They have them in different kinds. They have them in natural, coffin, um, stiletto, like square. So you're able to choose what kind you want. You're also gonna need um, a cuticle pusher. This came with the um, Kisses at Home Salon Nail Kit, and I just still use it, even though I got new stuff to push back my cuticles and also just a couple of cotton balls. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Again, like I said, it's EC Basket by Nails Gaga. They are very affordable and they come in all like lengths and shapes and so I would say get this. The great thing that I like about this though is that they all come in different they all come in different um, like packages with numberings on them. Now the thing is that like the lower the number goes, like for zero, um, like the wider the nail is, for instance. So, so here I have zero, which is generally speaking for like your thumb. So they go from zero all the way to nine, and nine being the smallest, the smallest. And I kind of generally would use that probably for my pinky. I have very small pinkies, like look at that. Mm, super ugly, I hate it. So we're gonna go ahead and see which one I am. Usually it's usually three or four. But for the purpose of this video, I'll go ahead and try to show y'all. Um, this is the size three, and the great thing about these also is that right here on the tip of the acrylic nail, you can see like the number. So we're gonna go ahead and try to fit it. 
All right, so for the number three, one fitting on my middle finger here. You want to look for something that isn't too large. You don't want it moving. You don't want it going past your nail bed here, but you also don't want it too far away from like where your nail, because it does shrink when you start like working with it. So you want it to be just right. So I think three would be great for my middle finger. So I will leave that. And I also try to like line them up on my table in the way that they would go on my finger. Cause trust me, your girl has done that before. And it's annoying once it's sealed, it's like sealed. So yeah, so three is for my middle finger. You can try three for my pointer finger here. And you see, I think that is probably too big just because, look at it. It just looks like way too big for my finger and it's going past my, um, the end of my nail hair. <laughs> I'm not a professional, guys. Listen to me or not, I don't know. But yeah, I think three is too big. So we're gonna go, so we're gonna go for four because again, the higher it goes, the smaller it gets. So I'm gonna go ahead and try out four and see if that works for my pointer finger. I would say this is a great fit. It's not too big and it's not too small. I hope you guys can see that. It's not m that much past the end of my, it's not that much past the end of my um, nail bed here. It kind of fits perfectly all around and I believe this is a great fit for my corner finger. So I'm gonna put that over here next to the three just so I don't mess myself up. And now it's for, now for my ring finger, I'm gonna try four again, just cause it doesn't look as wide as my middle finger. Yeah, see, it's perfect. It's not too big, not too small. It fits my nail bed pretty well. There we go, so I'll put that over there. And again, for my small ass pinky here, I'm probably gonna have to like try an eight or a nine because uh, I don't have like big nail beds for, for my pinky finger. So this is an eight. Hmm. I would say that would be fine. Actually, I think this is a perfect fit. The first step I usually do is I go in with my nail polish remover here and clean off my nails with it just because I think it it allows your nails to dry up and allows the one for the fake nail to apply to your finger as well as well as the acrylic itself to adhere to the fake nail well and it prevents lifting. So. I'll do that. Now I'm gonna go in with, no, now I'm gonna go in with my cuticle pusher and just really push my cuticles back. Cause you wanna extend your nail bed all the time. So when you are going in to reapply your acrylic nails, ooh, wrong end. I would say it's best to just, you know, occasionally go ahead and push back those cuticles just because, again, it lengthens your nail bed. For a nail biter like me, um, we want length. We don't want this anymore. I know it's gross, it's disgusting, but it was a bad habit I'd had ever since I can remember. And now that I'm like older and grown up, um, <laughs> And I just don't, it's not cute, okay? It's not cute. I hated not ever being able to partake in like, you know, girls <laughs> trip to the nail salon or anything like that. <laughs> I mean, I would be able to go, but I just would, <laughs> my trip ended right at the pedicure uh, chair. So yeah, so I'm trying to like, you know, backtrack here and figure out I know my weakness, guys, okay? And it's biting my nails, so to combat that, 
to combat that, I just wear acrylic nails. It works for me. Plus, it is, you know, it helps me stop my bad habit. And it looks bomb, okay? Like, let's be real. It looks freaking bomb. Can you tell I'm not professional? I hope you can, because I'm not. So now I'm gonna go in with the snail file. It's 180, it's 180 um, dense snail file. This has a very like harsher grit to it. Again, like I said, you have to use like a very light hand with it. So what you wanna do is like gently graze your nail with it just to allow that um, fake nail to adhere to your nail easier than normal because without it I think it'll just slip off this gives it some texture to attach to and I think it's a very important crucial step to take okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the fake nails now what I do is I apply it, I know some people apply it like to their nail bed and to their um, fake nail, but I'm gonna just, whoa, drop some over here. So what I'm gonna do is take the nail glue and just apply it directly into the nail acrylic bed, not too much. Okay, so we're gonna try this again. We're gonna go ahead and take that acrylic nail glue and put it in the nail bed. What you want to do is just press it down for, I say, like five, six seconds. Like so. See how, like, I like how like, it, it ends where it's supposed to, and it's not like overlapping over my skin here. Now I'm gonna go to the next finger and repeat the process. See? Now, would I rock them this long? Probably not. Um, I like my nails short, but then there are times when I want them to be long. This long, no. If I would ever to wear it, it would probably like be like two inches longer, or two, two to two and a half inches shorter than this. I will be right back with these two done just to save time. 
Okay guys, so I have applied all four acrylic nails. I don't know, I low-key like the way these look. <laughs> Long like this, but we are not gonna leave them like this. I'm gonna go ahead and take the, um, this combop, this, this gadget right here. And what I'm going to do, I generally like my nails a little bit above like, the end of my finger. So just really short at this point. For people who bite nails, I do think it's great. I do think it's crucial to keep them short until you do get that length and that strength. So, yep. Look at that versus that. <laughs> Big difference, but like I said, since I like bit my nails, I just need it to grow and not hurt myself and break my nails because they're so long so I rather just do what I have to do in the beginning and then reap the benefits later. Next we're going to do is use the same nail file and rough these up a little bit. Again the same concept. You want whatever you're using next to adhere to the nail well so it's a crucial step to take so I'm going to go ahead and um, buff these out a little bit. Cool yourself like I am doing it so you can do it as well but it's that like it gets almost like depressing at times I know because my whole family would go and do their nails and I couldn't like like I told you like my my trip ends right at that pedicure um, chair or if they try to do it they'll do it but then they'll fall off and then I'd bite them and I wouldn't be able to go back to get them reapplied and <sighs> It was, uh, it was a rough time, but I found that now I'm like, no, you can do it. Do whatever you have to do to um, get get you get your fake nails on. No, I'm doing this at such a weird angle. So like, if it looks like I'm awkward with it, that's why. It, I don't have like a thing where I can see what I'm doing. I have to like have the camera like in front of me so it's like weird. So I will be right back with these already roughed up and we'll move on to the next step. Um, this is a point sometimes when you're at the nail salon where they tell you to wash your hands. I don't like to wash my hands. Because I've learned that some like soaps have like oils in them and you don't want that, okay? Because it doesn't help the um, acrylic to stay and it may contribute to like why you would have lifting. So I don't do that, at least like if I do it at home. So we're going to take the Mia Secrets liquid monomer here and pour it into the Dappen dish. You don't need this. Use whatever. God, I can't We're gonna keep it in the thing then. Take your acrylic powder here. Okay, so what I like to do is just get the brush pretty wet and get any air bubbles out of the... This is a lot of monomer. You don't need this much for four fingers. Anyways, so you get your brush wet and I like to do like a three second dip. So I'll go ahead in my acrylic powder here and dip it very lightly. <laughs> One, two, three, and pour my bead. Look at me, do I sound like a professional? Cause I'm not. You wanna move pretty fast here. So we're gonna go ahead and press it on to the nail. Now if you came here for like professional tips on like liquid to like the acrylic ratio, I don't know. I just kind of eyeball it. Again, I go for that three second. What is so funny, child? The three second um, rule. And more times than none, it works for me. So you just want to press it towards the your cuticle and press it out. I'm just gonna take a little bit of monomer just to kind of smooth everything out. Yeah, you 
I'm still learning guys. Um, it definitely is a lot to learn, especially with nails. It's a lot I don't know. And like I said before, I'm not a professional. I just do what works for me. The thing is that yeah you can you can move the um, acrylic around so if you need it in other places that you may not have like gotten it to yet you can do that. This is actually a lot of pressure. I've <laughs> never filmed this before, so I'm trying to move fast because you wanna work fast when it comes to acrylic nails because the she will dry up on you guys. She will firm up really quick and at that point you either need to start over or just you know figure out a way to fix it Okay guys, so this is it all nice and roughed up. Now we're going to go ahead with the buffing block and smooth it out. Now this is a, <laughs> this can be a long process, especially like, I don't know, that's why I usually do it when I'm done with homework or when I just need a break from homework or YouTube and I just sit back, have a drink, and watch movies with my husband or watch whatever. It's just a way for me to kind of like de-stress. See, you want like a nice smooth You want a nice, you want a nice smooth result and this is very smooth. So I'll be back and do the rest of my fingers so we can move on to the polish okay guys so here's the next and last final step of this do your nails at home for nail biters tutorial um, it's fall and I wanted something that screamed fall so again I got these nail polishes from Amazon. I don't know what color I want. This is more of like a taupey, like grayish color. I don't know. Then I also have like obviously the basic like red wine cranberry color. Ooh. And last I have to choose from is this Again, this is a darker, more deeper, purpley, plummy red. Um, I don't know, guys. What should I do? So what I normally do is I just kind of sweep it real quick. Not, I don't get too close to my cuticle first. I just kind of rotate my hand here and try to get everything as much as possible. And then I take it and just kind of wiggle it downward just to get to that cuticle area and brush it up. So take this side and squiggle it down 
and brush it up and brush it up actually I, I like this color it's almost uh, it's almost like a nude to me like a like grayish nude that is too much for the brush Billy's like 16 years old. Any of you guys watch Caillou out there? Any mommies out there watch Caillou? I have a love and hate relationship for this show. Oh, how pretty is that? It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Great thing about this, it's sunny UV, um, UV LED nail lamp. Um, I do like this. It's affordable. It's cheap. I got this on Amazon. Um, and the great thing is that it has like different buttons here, a 10 second button, a 30 second button, 60 second button, and a 99 second button, which is low heat, but I guess it like really like singes the acrylic, but we're just, just for like basic purposes, I'm going to go ahead and hit the 60 second button and go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds. Okay, so here is the second coat already um, done. I do like it though. It's like a, you know, opaque nude. And I guess, yeah, it suits the fall. I was scared that I probably should have went for the like cranberry colors, but I've used those before and this is fitting with the season too. So like I said, I'm gonna go in with my no wipe top coat and cure it. This says to cure it for a hundred for two minutes, so 120 seconds. I love this step. It's just so satisfying to me. Uh, it's already shiny, but this just kicks it up an extra notch, and I, I just love it. Huh? Then choose another one, Caillou. Damn! Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cure it for 120 seconds. ...into this game store that had a lot of... Alright, 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 alright. Here she is in all its glory, guys. I love it. I love it. Now, like I said before, I was a big, huge nail biter and I never really thought I would be able to wear fake nails again. Anyone out there who is a nail biter, don't let them tell you that you can't do it. It just takes a lot of like discipline, honestly, um, and you will get there. To me, as long as there's nails on, like, unless you're that like, you know, adamant and you bite the nail, fake nails off, then, you know, you like, just try, guys, try to like push through, push through it because you can experience this. It's, I love it. So yeah guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me. I'd really appreciate it. Share. Sharing is caring, so please share this video. Comment, like, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. I do a whole bunch of other things such as tags and um, mommy related stuff, makeup stuff, music reviews. So yeah, be sure to subscribe. Kian. And I'll check you guys in my next video. Bye!